Hello, this is Brock Lemires, and we're continuing our study of embedded systems design. And we are finally to the seventh and last addressing mode supported on the MSP430 for use with data movement instructions, and in fact, other instructions as well. Okay, so indexed mode, what does it mean? Basically, you are going to uh, apply an offset to a register to form the effective address. So what does that mean? You are going to use a register in the CPU to hold the address you will go up, go to. So this is very similar to indirect register and indirect auto increment. So you have to put an address inside of a CPU register, but this time you can actually add a numeric constant to that address in order to form a new address or an effective address that you will actually go get the information from. Okay, the constant number you put is a can be a 16-bit signed numeric constant, okay? And like I say, similar to indirect register, this the way that the syntax works is that you put your register name in parentheses and then you put the number in front of it. And this also works for 16-bit uh, moves and also 8-bit moves just like the other modes and it actually can be used in both the source and the destination. Okay, so this is very handy when you're trying to access blocks of memory. Uh, <clears throat> and the copy and paste is kind of the classic one where, let's look at this example right here. So let's say that we had four words in memory at starting at address 2000, and we wanted to copy them to four spaces in memory right after it. I can take advantage of the fact that I know the specific offset between any two of these. So the offset between 2000 and the first open location is eight. And I know that over here, the offset is eight. And I know that here the offset is eight. And I know that here the offset is eight. So I could either take advantage of the fixed offset or I could actually just set my indirect register uh, to 2000 and then access all of these locations in memory using just offsets. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to copy, we're going to set up this, uh, this, these four words in memory using dot shorts, and this will be in uh, data memory. And then we will use indexed mode addressing in order to copy those four down here. And when we're done, we'll have these four copied to down here. Okay, so let us begin. Uh, go ahead and fire up CCS and we'll go new CCS project and CPU is correct. <clears throat> we're gonna go to, we're gonna go ASM, ADDR mode seven, which is our seventh mode, and we'll call it indexed. Okay, we're coming down here, assembly, empty, finish it up. Okay, so here's our, here's our template that is given to us. As always, let's go ahead and let's put our main loop in here. So we'll get our main label and then our jump main. So now we got our main loop right there. And we need to set up some information in memory. So let me pull this over here so we can see what we're trying to do. And in fact, we'll just start with this one right here. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Forget this A right here, we're putting the purple in there. And so I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna use directives to go into data memory and insert some constants and also reserve some space. So let's go ahead and say data allocation and I'll go to dot data. And that means go to data memory at 2000H. We got to do a dot refrain. And that keeps me from, not refrain, retain. And that says keep this section. And then we're ready to go. <clears throat> so I'm going to do this. I'm going to start off and let's call it uh, block one. I'll do a dot short. And that's going to create a 16-bit constant in memory. And I want to do a a a a hex, and remember, it has to start with a zero, so it can't start with a letter, so I got zero a, 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 a hex, and then zero b, 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 b hex, and then zero c, 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 h hex, and then zero d, 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 d hex. Okay, but we also wanna come down here and I wanna create space right here. I wanna reserve four words so that that's where I'm gonna copy into. Uh, so let's go ahead and do block two, and I'll do dot space, and I need two bytes for each of those. So I need to specify eight bytes, and that will reserve that. So that's going to, when I download, it's going to clear these four words out, <clears throat> and I'll have an 
address label to point them to if I even want to use it. Okay, let's go back up here. And here's what I'm going to do. Consider this. So we this is like indirect register addressing where we need to put the address of where we're going to start accessing memory into a register. So let's do move.w pound block one. And that is going to take the address of block one, which I just happen to know is at 2000 because it's the first address label within program or data memory. This is data memory. And I know that it's at 2000. And then what I can do is let's go ahead and stick it in R4 again. So this will be initialize R4 to point to 2000 H. And now let's move some information. Okay. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do this with indexed mode addressing. Move.w. Now watch this. I'm going to go and I'm going to go parentheses R4. And then I'm going to do an offset of zero. This is the source. I've just provided the source and it is register four is pointing to 2000 and I don't have any offset. So this will allow me to access address the contents in address 2000. Okay. And now I'm going to put that down eight addresses away relative to R4. So instead of messing around with R4, why don't we just use an offset and think about that. So this right here, the address R4 is 2000 and the offset I add to it is zero. That means the effective address is 2000. This is going to be R4, which is 2000 with an offset or an index offset of eight. So it's 2008. So the comma for this would be copy uh, contents at 2000H to 2008H. <clears throat> okay but I form these effective addresses using offsets. Now check this out. I can actually do the same thing if I want to do the next one. And this is in this example, I'm not even going to change R4. You can see that you could probably do it a bunch of different ways, but in this one, it's we'll just leave it just so we can take advantage of, actually not take advantage of anything. Let's just check it out, see how this works. We don't even move R4. I, actually, it is kind of cool, is it? Uh, because I never change R4, so you get to see the effective address that's created without even moving R4. Okay, so then this is going to be R4. Okay, so in four moves using index addressing, I can index mode addressing. I can copy from here to there, 2000 to 2008, 2002 to 2000 A, 2004 to 2000 C, and 2006 to 2000 E. All right, and then each one of these, if I copied and pasted this just for just so we have it in front of our eyes so that we can remember what we're actually doing. In this one, we formed the effective address. Let's get these in here like this. And that's gonna be A, and this will be C, and this will be E. And those, that is a description of what we're doing. Okay, 0 to 2000, 2002, 2004, 2008. We're going into 2008, 2000A, 2000C, 2000E. All right, save that buddy up and assemble it. And what we want to do is we want to look at the CPU registers <clears throat> and we also want to look at memory and all this memory is being put into data memory at 2000. And look at this, this is nice. I have uh, AA, BB, CC, and DD at 2000, 2002. 2004 and 2006. Remember, that was put there by this assembler directive. So this right here, this dot short and these constants I put in there, downloaded into those addresses. This directive dot space and reserving eight bytes, that's what cleared out and reserved space at 2008, 2000A, 2000C, and 2000E. All right, so now let's go up here and let's put a breakpoint before our first instruction. I got my breakpoint and I'm gonna to run to it. Okay, now I'm halted, or I'm suspended. So here I go, I got my R4 is at something and the first instruction is going to, if I step it, it puts 2000 into R4. So remember, that's what address block one is pointing to. So I did immediate mode addressing and I took that 2000 and I put it into R4. R4 now serves as an address pointer that I'm going to use to form the effective address in all of these instructions. 
All right, here's the first one. This should copy uh, AAAA down to this location right here. And if you ever want to resize the way that the memory browser looks, you can do this to get however many rows across you want. I, I want four columns across so that each row is, is kind of representing my block. So watch what happens here. Boom. Look at that. It did it. It copied from AAAA at address 2000 and it put it down to 2008. And look at our four. It never moved. We were able to form two, these effective addresses without altering the value in our register or our pointer in our address pointer. Watch this one. Here we go again. Boom. B got copied from 2002 down to 2000 and A by using these offsets to form the effective address. Let's do the next one. <clears throat> Boom. Look at that. CCCC got copied from address 2004 down to 2000 C. And then finally, boom, D, 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 D got copied from 2006 down to 2000 E. And I did it all with indexed mode addressing. So when I'm all said and done, this was actually my, uh, this was actually my result. I copied and pasted a block to another block of space. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and terminate that session and that's it so we did it uh so that's the seventh mode of addressing and it be becomes very handy especially when you do looping and so that wraps up uh data movement instructions with the move instruction and the seven supported addressing modes within the msp 430 and just to review what they are register mode moves between registers immediate mode moves a constant into the destination Absolute mode uses the absolute address of the source or the destination to access memory. Symbolic mode uses address labels instead of the absolute address, and that's what you use most of the time, uh, a lot of the time. Then we had register indirect, which is where you put an address in a CPU register and then use it as an address pointer. Then we had register auto or indirect auto increment, which is the same as register indirect, except that it would automatically increment after using it. And then finally, we had indexed mode addressing. And that is where you apply a constant number to the register indirect pointer to form the effective address. And that's it. Good job.